Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Sunday, February 1st, 2015, and Whitney Houston's daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, is on a ventilator now. She was found unresponsive in a bathtub, just as her mother was found dead in a bathtub. This is all witchcraft and symbolism showing that we're nearing the end of days, and that this all goes by the Bible scripture of Revelation 12, when the dragon comes after the woman and tries to kill her in the Bible, and the beginning of the end of days happens all through here. This symbolism is replayed all around us all the time, over and over and over again. My channel shows how these things are spiritually done, and it's just, it's permeated all around us. May God have mercy on this young woman, and may she be safe. These things are even shown in movies over and over again. The whole earth is as a matrix going along by the Bible and the spiritual realms are all around us. Everything is infected by this. There is like a force all around us and it permeates into everything. Not just one thing. It is all around us in everything all day long. Something has a meaning of some way to the Bible, good or bad, to the dark side or to the light side. Well, this represents the dragon coming after the woman. This was shown in the Friday the 13th, the last one that came out, which was in 2009, right here. And Jason Voorhees, with the V, represents the fifth age of the Bible coming, the age when the New World Order comes. See this clownish figure up here, this beast for the Illuminati? He is called It, Animal I, I-T, It, the beast, right here. He comes for the fifth age. He's just like that Jason Voorhees thing coming. See them bringing this idol worship and the dead rise and an e Ebola scare and the mark of the beast coming. All three here. A type of terrible things upon the earth. Like nightmares and the pits of hell being opened as they come after the woman and after all the Christians. It was shown in this movie. In this movie, Whitney hides in a tub. Literally. In the beginning of this movie, Whitney hides in a tub to escape from the beast. And then she is kidnapped by the beast, Jason Voorhees, like the V for the Fifth Age. And at the very end, a gentleman named Clay has to come along and try to, to defeat him and try to steal and get Whitney set free. And then Jason bursts through the wooden dock and grabs Whitney. All after Whitney. See how this symbolism is all around us all the time? If you watch this movie, she literally hides in a tub. I'm not kidding. Just like this. This symbolism is around us, and the only way you're going to understand it is to realize it's like a force of will all around us. Maybe understand it like in Star Wars, that the force is out there. God's will. Well, there's a right hand and a left hand. Satan sits at the left hand. And this beast comes upon the earth for its time, right here. See this mask? Just as I keep showing, like the red bull, or the big V. See him right there? He's even on this ancient Egyptian glyph coming. See him right here coming, this clown with this V? That's Jason Voorhees coming, with the key to open the abyss. And he rides the red bull, the red horse of the apocalypse, with his great sword. Just like his machete through there. It, it's all right in front of us. See him here? We're going to show him as the beast rising up and even with Islam and such coming. Because God has this mapped out all on the earth. Right here is Qatar. This whole area is built showing the new world order beast coming. All the world gives its power into this beast except for the Christians. We're going to show him looking just like that Jason Voorhees mask. Right here you can see what's considered to be the false prophet. See him right here? Like this Arab figure? You see how his arm is like this? Because he's getting a sword put on here. 
This was even shown in the last Captain America Winter Soldier movie, with the red side rising up and having a type of sword on their arm. See that right there? Look at that. That's a sword on his arm. He is cutting off the head of this sheep right here. The, the, the American secret government know this is going on. They're part of this. They're going to give their power to this beast. They're going to betray all of the USA citizens. See him right here? And now they're going to do a big thing with Russia. Russia and the Russian Orthodox Church with the Vatican and the Jesuits has got something huge going on. This is part of the beast. See this bear right here? See that? Can you see that? It doesn't matter if you can't quite understand it yet. Just see this. And now watch what's going into its head. This is what I've shown before, that something is going to be going into people with the mark of the beast. See this dragon? See this thing? With all these little eyes? And it's going up and inside the, the, the brain. See that right there, that bear? In the Bible, this is the Revelation 13 beast out of the sea that says it has the feet of a bear. So you can see the dragon going right into him. Look at that. Now, the Jason Voorhees guy is standing right here beside him. Right beside him. This guy is coming after the woman. Just like Islam oppresses the women. Don't forget that. Islam oppresses women. I mean, <laughs> big time. See the Jason Voorhees mask? See this beast? He's sitting right here. That represents him going in. You can see it right there. There he is. That beast. See the thing on top of his head, just like we just showed? And see how he's going through the medium of the false prophet? Whoever this false prophet is, it's like a medium. See the, the, the ghostly Jason Voorhees figure entering in through him, like through this false prophet, or whatever's coming. So there you go, there's the beast rising out of the sea. The USA is slated to be betrayed by the world and by its own government. Yes, the USA secret government is going to give all its power to this beast and go after the woman. Just like Whitney. These signs are all around us all day long in the bathtub. If you watch this movie, it will show Whitney hiding in the bathtub from the beast that is rising. There he is, coming. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. May God have mercy on us all. This is real and right in front of us all day long. There he is. Right there. This is what's going to be inside of this new type Eucharist of the book of Daniel. See this thing right here where it's blending the two halves together? Just like that, going right up and into his head with the mark of the beast coming. Thank you very much everybody. May God have mercy on us all and may this young woman be recovered. Obviously dark evil spirits are surrounding this family trying to bring, bring pain and torment upon them. This thing that's coming loves pain, torment, and torture. It's, that's what it loves, and it loves to turn people against each other. May God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah. Illuminati, when read from right to left as in Hebrew, it is it, animal I. He is the beast of the book of Revelation 13. The beast out of the sea coming with the feet of the bear, and he terrorizes the world for 42 months. God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.